In this video, I'm going to chat about bonus tolerance. So bonus tolerance is an interesting one because it's not mentioned anywhere in the ASME standard. So there's no mention of the term bonus tolerance anywhere. But as you may know, if you're watching this video, it's a really important concept for GD&T. So you're probably watching this video because you don't know much about it, but you've heard it. So I'll try to explain what bonus tolerance is in the simplest way that I can, right? So. Bonus tolerance is the difference between the MMC of the feature and the actual size of the feature if there's an MMC symbol in the feature control frame. So let me show you on the board what I mean. Now, I've got a feature control frame here. We're controlling a hole. The hole has basic dimensions to datums. It's important for a position tolerance. You gotta have all three, datums, basic dimension, feature control frame. All that's taken care of. Now we have a size dimension controlling the size of the hole, and then our feature control frame. So this little symbol means position, diameter tolerance zone, 30 thousandths of position. So you can imagine a circle here, 30 thousandths, where the axis of that feature needs to be, okay? The MMC symbol, which gives us the capability to use bonus tolerance, right? And then our datum references. In this case, it's a pretty simple setup, just three planar references. So datum A, B, and C, okay? Now, how this works, how I read it is that if I see the MMC symbol, I automatically think this tolerance only applies at MMC, okay? If it's the feature comes in anywhere not MMC, so it's heading toward its LMC, in this case, the smallest hole is MMC. If the hole comes any bigger than that, this no longer applies. It can be a larger value. So how much larger? Bonus tolerance you get, the additional tolerance is equal to the difference between where this actually comes in and the MMC, right? So if you notice the total tolerance on this uh, size is 40 thousandths, you have 40 thousandths potential bonus tolerance. Now it doesn't have to be that. Say we measure and the hole comes in at exactly one inch, one inch minus the MMC, the one inch, the actual size, minus the MMC size is 20 thousandths. That 20 thousandths is our bonus tolerance. Now, the allowable tolerance is just the bonus plus what's already specified. So, in this case, the bonus we've established is 20 thousandths plus what's already up here, 50 thousandths, right? If the hole comes in at 1.02, so the largest it can be, the furthest away from MMC it gets, you would have 40 thousandths of bonus plus specified, you'd have the most positional room to work with. Now, I like to draw a quick chart This is how I like to remember it. If you imagine the MMC, the smallest size, the, M the specified tolerance applies only there. As the actual size of the part moves toward LMC, you get more tolerance equal to the difference. So the difference between 0.99 and 0.98 is 10 thousandths. You add that to the specified, you get 40 thousandths, okay? So that's all bonus tolerance is. It's just the difference between the MMC and what the part actually is. So for a hole, you get rewarded by making the hole larger. You get more positional tolerance on that hole. So what happens is in inspection, they're gonna measure the diameter of positional variation. They're gonna get a number. If it's less than this, case closed, they're not worried about it. If it's more than this, they'll figure out what the size is. I mean, they should already know, right? They'll figure out the size, calculate the bonus tolerance, and then see if there's enough allowable tolerance to let the part pass. 
okay? So that's all I had for this video, just a quick chat about bonus tolerance on a, a position. It works similar with perpendicularity and other tolerances as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna make more of these and uh, go deeper into position tolerances soon.